Out left hand castle, Janssen on this one, dragged round that is the corner that she likes. We talked about it moments ago. The long drag, the acceleration, and then the last minute right hand whip down to Belensucci's right foot. And the Netherlands finally get the goal from the penalty corner. Yes, uh, almost feels as if they've sort of softened them up with the other two um, and gone to the other side. Interested there, Simon, with your opinion on the on the reaction of the keeper. Do you go with the stick? Do you go with the foot? Gorzolani on the right-hand castle, crossed on the near castle. It is Gorzolani's castle. She's through, she's in, and that, once again, Maria Granato finds the touch that equalises for Argentina. It's almost copybook. Time and time again, right-hand castle, round the body, diving tip in, goal. Great routine. Difference being, notice how close Renato is to the keeper. This deflection is not high in the circle, it's right close to the keeper. So we have deja vu from yesterday. We do, we do indeed, and yesterday Argentina changed their goalkeeper. Ellen Succi came out and Cristina Cosentino came in, having sat on the bench for the whole thing. Will we see that again? Underway in. Carries forward, then turns her back, and then the spin is a good one. Executed well. Didn't quite get the first touch, certainly got the second. Ripped it around Barbary. Argentina, the captain Sanchez, gave away that late penalty corner. Good little step in Jack from Yanta. Takes enough time. Oh, that is after the whistle. Carry in. A little bit of a change of direction. Left to right, Shimmy. Goes into that space. Goalkeeper does really well. And Mackler on the spin misses. Can't get enough round it. Albertario successful yesterday in the shootout. Takes the goalkeeper out to the right side, tries to go all the way across. Koenig has stayed big. Oh, it's looped off the goalkeeper's leg. She puts her hands on her head. Disappointed because she stayed mobile. Good goal though for Argentina. Ties it up at one all. Also successful yesterday. Comes in a little left to right. And then the backhand that she misses. She doesn't get enough on it. On the backhand and it goes sliding outside that left hand post. Working into the top of the circle, tries to go between the feet. Topolino, well, it's inventive, but oh, oh, she sneaks it inside the far post from the narrowest of angles. Similarly successful yesterday, into the top. That's where the goalkeeper misses the first touch, goes into the hook of her stick, sees nothing but gets round it enough to get past Barbary. Jansen successful. Opportunity now with their fourth to tie it up. What a lovely little lob that is. That is calm, composed and delightful. 2-2 Two -two after four. Sandovard comes in under the arm. Goalkeeper brilliantly well done. Sandovard has missed because the goalkeeper has stayed active. 2-2 Two -two at this moment in time. This would be Argentina's third goal in. Eyes up around the goalkeeper. Takes a long time. What a save that is. That is absolute genius. The first save was outstanding, the second of the buzzer might have gone, but that is phenomenal. Sudden death in on the backhand, that's a touch of the goalkeeper as well. She went to the reverse. Yesterday that was the dominant feature for Argentina. Into the top of the circle, eyes are still up, fakes the dummy, finds a space, can she pop it over, needed to go earlier, does find the bottom corner. Barbary for all of her athleticism, can't get up and down and up again. The goalkeeper takes the plaudits from Bean Sanders. Sanders' composure as the clock was ticking down gives them the goal, but gives them the bonus point. To draw in normal time, they shared the match points, but the bonus point once again goes to the Netherlands here in Nijmegen.